If you can't afford the house, be bold and live in the coffin room. Little John spent 10 years moving bricks to save money. Now, he's let his wife use all this money to buy a house, but it's so small it can't even fit a coffin. The couple can only lie down and do nothing. Frustrated, the wife decides to redesign it like this. Firstly, install a hydraulic bed frame made of strong galvanized steel, covered with environmentally friendly solid wood veneers. It features a one-touch oil pump for easy adjustment of the bed's height, good for 10,000 years. A soft mattress is added for comfort. In a non-load-bearing wall, dig a hole to embed wooden boxes for decorative switches and sockets, perfect for charging phones and replacing traditional bedside tables. Add a soft cushion for comfort and install a ladder for easy access, ensuring little John doesn't bump his head. Build a large wardrobe under the bed to hang shirts. Add three large drawers below for underwear storage and a separate section for his smelly socks. On top, keep a collection of literary poems little John enjoys. Place a desk by the window where he works around the clock to support his family. The desk doubles as a dining table. Next to it, place a refrigerator and borrow a projector from his auntie to enjoy short movies at home. Install a toilet at the entrance, which little John can intuitively know about even without seeing it directly. Enclose it with waterproof aluminum boards that block odors and are easy to open when needed. Add an induction cooker to transform it into a mini kitchen. Hang condiments and tableware on the wall and lay anti-skid tiles on the floor in the same color to match the walls. On the opposite side, install a large shower and store all toiletries there. Add a glass partition in the middle to let light through. This way, even a space as small as a coffin is transformed, showcasing how limited space can still offer unlimited possibilities.